President Barack Obama admitted today the launch of his health care program was horribly botched. He even apologized to Democrats for the backlash that could cost them votes. The CBC's Neil McDonald has more on this from Washington. Obamacare doesn't just bear the president's name. It's his signature achievement, his legacy. Good afternoon. And as the president himself uh, acknowledged today, you know, it's a mess. That's on me. I mean, uh, we fumbled the rollout on this health care law. Square. Actually, it's worse than a fumble. It's a monumental political fiasco, and it's now threatening Democrats' re-election chances. My constituents need this website to work. The Obamacare website has been up and broken for more than a month, and that's not all. Hundreds of thousands of existing health policies have been canceled, despite this famous presidential promise. If you like your health care plan, you'll be able to keep your health care plan. Period. For weeks, the White House has said that the canceled policies were lousy and substandard and should have been canceled. But today, under immense pressure from his own party, the president relented. If, if their life circumstance is such where, uh, for now at least, they want to keep the old car, even if the new car is better, we should be able to give them that option. And, and that's what we want to do. It was a big climb down, but there's another problem. A lot of Americans are now facing much higher insurance premiums, despite assurances that health care would be cheaper under Obamacare. Obama today said he couldn't do much about that. And he apologized to frighten Democrats. There is no doubt that uh, our failure to roll out the ACA smoothly has put a burden on Democrats, whether they're running or not. Republicans, of course, are delighted by all this. They want to gut Obamacare or kill it. And a lot of Democrats are now prepared to help them do just that if the White House doesn't start keeping its promises. Neil McDonald, CBC News, Washington.